Do things seem off? Trouble sleeping? Issues in your marriage, finances, or with extended family and friends? These are challenges that many men face, but you don't have to face them alone. The Men of Steel Prayer Group is here for you. We are a fellowship of individuals who share a common interest in the paranormal and cryptid fields, united in our quest for understanding the supernatural. Our goal is to educate and guide those curious or seeking insight into the supernatural, emphasizing the role of Jesus Christ as the supreme authority over the supernatural realm. Visit us at strongmenpraying.com to learn more. The Men of Steel Prayer Group, where faith and curiosity forge a stronger spirit. Boom, what's up ladies and gentlemen, and one of James Williams Dark Waters, also known as the Stank Onion Ambassador, and I'm back. Listen guys, it might be a little bit too much light. It's real bright, you know, I don't like it like that. Hold on. I like it like that, I like it like that. Hold on, hold on. There we go. I like it like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. The one and only stay going to ambassador dog waters and i'm back with another video now i need to explain some things to y'all so we touched on the lizard people and unfortunately because you guys broke the agreement and i'm gonna tell you we had an agreement i was gonna hit on the topic you guys was gonna share and like and spread it everywhere so i hit the topic we get some sharing we get everybody supporting and everything goes well then complacency kicks in Nobody wants to share and everything goes and then the algorithm says, hey, we got you. We can override what you're doing and we can hide. You. So I had to go back, sit down and think and revamp how I'm going to hit the same stuff. So now we're talking about AI. We talk about artificial intelligence. We talk about the same thing, but we talk about AI. And I need you to understand something. This is my Johnny Cash album. It's normally on the wall back there. I took it down. But just like Johnny Cash, I'm walking the line. Where is it? I walk the line. And I'm walking the line and I need your help. So if you're not gonna share these videos, I'm just walking the line and getting my behind beat for nothing. I need you to share. I need you to share. You know what I'm saying? I need you to share. What else? Where is it at? I'm gonna be found in a burning ring of fire. That's what's gonna happen. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. They might have me with the Folsom Blues if y'all don't help out, man. You see what I'm saying? So I need you to handle your business. Go for Johnny Cash for me, man. Do what I need y'all. Do what I need y'all to do to help. We got to help each other. Now, I want to say this to you. Those wicked people among us, the ones who who are dedicated to destroying this channel, they, they'll spend a lot of time, man. They'll go through every video looking for something to flag. I mean, every video looking for something to flag until they get to the point where they found something. And they put a lot of energy into it. So I need you to just, it's way more of you than there are of them. So if you just share it on your Facebook page, share it on your Instagram, share it on your Twitter, wherever, it'll help a lot. All right. So I think Johnny Cash for today is going to replace the spinners. Because this is where we are right now. So. Johnny Cash. Nobody's going to replace Sade. Nobody's going to replace my Shante Moore. I'm sorry. Joe Sample? Maybe. But Spitters. All right, guys. You're getting replaced for right now with old Johnny Cash. All right. So now let's get into talking about lizard people slash AI. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's start here. Remember, Uriano Havari is the guy that put us on all of this, right? So let us walk down the road of Uriano and see if we can find any truth based on Uriano. At the Creation stage. of a new massive class of useless people. Another possibility is the division of humankind into different biological castes with the rich being upgraded into virtual gods and the poor being degraded to this level of, of, of useless useless people. Start all over. Hold on. Let's let Ural Urinal Urinal say it again. What's about to happen, Urinal? One possibility is this creation of a new massive class of useless people. Another possibility is the division of humankind into different biological castes 
with the rich being upgraded into virtual gods and the poor being degraded to this level of, of, of useless, useless people. Okay, so you might be saying to yourself, you may be saying unto self, self, I know that the Stankoni ambassador, Dark Waters, has been on this for a minute. And self, I know he ain't lying. If you know I'm not lying, put a one in the comments. If you're going to share, put one A in the comments. No, no. If you're going to share, put the, there's emojis you can use, right? Put the lizard emoji in the comments if you're going to share. But I need you to understand, we 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 swing to the left to get around some things. We we'll put the lizard emoji in there because we know these are all lizard people. But what he's saying is this: there's gonna be a class of useless people. And I know you're thinking that can't be possible. How are they gonna create a class of useless people? Ooh, but they, they are doing it. They are doing it. They are doing it. And they are doing it with this thing called artificial intelligence. And when they get to the point where they have AGI, we got a problem. But no, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Let's listen to what the people have to say. Because they're going to tell you themselves. They always do. Show it. Tell them what you think, little lady. Tell them, girl. Um, what we're building right now and how we have a lot to discuss what the future looks like. Um, what we're building right now and how it will impact us in the future. You said AI is the biggest breakthrough for humanity. Um, it is also the final step to, uh, to understanding ourselves. I think it's a very narrow-minded and narcissistic view because we are humans, so when you watch movies, you want aliens to be, aliens want to become humans, pets be, want to become humans, monkeys want to become humans. I think in the next two to three years, uh, if the human circle of what human capability is this big, uh, you know, the AI will be the size of Earth, but it still may not do what everything we can do. It, I felt that. Now, the question that she had posed to this gentleman was, what is AI going to do? And I need you to understand what he's saying right here, right now. What he's saying is this. I think this is like the top 10 truths about dark truths about AI. So just for the record, let's just we're gonna put a number one here and say this is the number one truth about AI. What's about to happen and what's in the process of happening is that AI is in the process of replacing you. Point blank, period. They knew this years ago. They know it now. And they're actually bragging about it. So it said that something like 100 million jobs will be displaced because of this. And what he just explained to you is that, or what he was trying to explain is that when we as human beings, when we look at artificial intelligence from our perspective, we want to humanize it and say, okay, AI will be like us. But no, it's really not. It's its own unique creature. It's this new thing that was created. And that's what he's saying. Now, mind you, AI is programmed by humans to a certain extent until they become sentient, which I believe that Google's already done it. We're going to touch on that. But nonetheless, the ability, the computing power ability in itself, um, is what he's saying is creating a new being. And once that being has the ability to think as a human and interpret things like a human, which we're gonna get into that, then we got a major problem on our hands. It's not gonna be quite human, he even admitted it. It's not gonna be like us. It's gonna be different than us, but similar to us. And that's the number one danger of this because there's key components to us being humans that prohibit us from doing insane things right there's the spirit of god that's in us that for the most part unless you've done everything to divorce yourself from the spirit of god his laws and the consciousness of god is written on your heart even if you don't believe that he's there there's a limit to what a human being can do there's crazy guys who you know hurt animals right but there's one type of animal that they love that they won't hurt when you get into a computer system that's programmed with ethics as opposed to morals ethics being rules if that, if it, the rule doesn't account for it, pretty much the rule of law of that computer doesn't account for that thing, then guess what? It's gonna do it. So it may say, okay, I'm gonna kill all the cats on the planet because cats cause allergies. Or it may come up with a concept and an idea like this, that because cows fart and they release methane, the cow farts are dangerous to the ozone layer and they destroy the environment because they raise the CO2 levels. That sounds like something that came from a damn computer, not a human being. But the human being don't think like that. It had to come from a damn computer. Keep on going.
my Asian brother. But, um, you know, people in China cannot access ChatGPT. Um, actually, ChatGPT, many of you may not know this, but um, OpenAI blocks China from ability to access. Didn't know that. Despite its namesake, OpenAI is not open at all. It's probably. Ooh, he hating on OpenAI. Oh, I gotta give me some water. It's juicy. Hold on. Now, I want you to know something. If you're not hydrating, we need you to hydrate. Keep yourself hydrated. Because they're all the news, they're talking about that. Burr, burr. Get your vitamins in your body and stay hydrated. Help your body. With the burr. Probably the most closed company in the world. I think the same opportunity exists. But, but I feel a lot of the LLM companies on, out there are... LLM companies is long language model companies. Run by research. The language models are what they use to program the AI, just in case you don't know. ...who care only about making a great model. And I think that science fair phase needs to end. We want a very small AI modeling team and a very large infrastructure team. Because if you have too many researchers and a culture where everybody can try ideas, you'll quickly run out of money as a startup, as you said. But if we're very focused, I think we're going to uh, see a lot of interesting American solutions that won't make it to China and interesting Chinese solution that won't make it to US. I Pause, stop. Let me read between the lines for you as to what he's saying. The second scary truth about AI. So there's language models that are being used in the US. There's language models that are being created in Russia and China. And these language models, models are being financed at the government level. That's the only reason why they won't be exchanged like this because they are what? Weapons. So the number two scary thing about AI is that they are weapons. And he's sitting here telling you, yeah, they, America got their weapons, but we making our own weapons in China. And we ain't gonna share that with you. Just like you not sharing your weapon with us. Dog orders, what does that mean, man? You just talking in circles. Oh, I'm talking in circles, right? Go type in the news, power grid hacks. Go type in the news, um, uh, uh, hacks on the aviation systems. And you'll see that there are wars going on right now where this is being used. Like we could open up ChatGTP right now, the new one, ChatGTP 4.0, and we can program in PineScript, a program that will go and trade crypto and make you probably a hundred bucks a day using Python scripts that you know nothing about. You can say, hey, write me a script that'll do a short sell Bitcoin every time it gets at the Fibonacci level of 55.8 or whatever, and take profit of 2% and let it run. And it's gonna make you the money. That's where we are right now. That's exactly where we are right now. So if my Negro behind can sit there and do that, what the hell can people in the government do? You heard me? If I can do that, what in the hell can the government do? Let's keep it moving. You might have to pull the whole thing in this in. I am a little bit disappointed at Microsoft Copilot because it is gluing Gen AI to an existing product that is a dinosaur that should be thrown out. Mm. I'm also worried that uh, a few big players will dominate more than ever before. I, I chose uh, by you know, making this great technology accessible as our mission. You had said around 2017, you thought in 10 to 15 years, about 40 to 50% of all jobs would be replaced by AI. Want to become humans, pets become, no, become no. humans, monkeys no, think we're going to be replaced by AI. I'm so listen. worried. All right, here we go. Listen to what this girl is saying. Listen to the percentage. Here we go. That uh, a few big players will dominate more than ever before. I, I chose uh, by you know making this great technology accessible as our mission. You had said around 2017, you thought in 10 to 15 years, about 40 to 50% of all jobs would be replaced by AI. 40 to 50% of all jobs being replaced by AI. Let me tell you something. That means some of you, because y'all my age that's listening, you got a kid that's in college right now getting a whole entire degree that's costing them thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. And by the time they graduate, they ain't gonna have no damn job because a computer gonna be doing the damn job. 
You understand? This is how dangerous this is. And they're going to sell it to you based on convenience. Oh, it's more convenient that we have the AI doing this, but it's not really convenient. It's just more cost effective. So you'll have AI answering phone calls at call centers. So those people who had the ability to answer all the people you were talking to at a call center, you ain't gonna be talking to a person, you're gonna be talking to a computer. You're gonna be talking to a computer. The computer gonna do the job that the human was doing, and the human not gonna have a job, and therefore it's gonna fulfill the prophecy of this ugly lizard person. I feel there is another right here. talk coming up. Yerano Hobari to make you useless people. Let, let, let Thank you, you for making the trip. Thank you. Thanks. They're going to keep it going. Hold on. Look, you're on the field now. Come right back. Come back, you're on the And then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be what do we need humans for? Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? What do we need so many humans for? You're starting to see what's going on? Are you starting to see it? Is the picture becoming clear to you? Or can you smell what the rock is cooking? Even though the rock said he like eating pineapples and children, can you smell what the rock is cooking? What do you like to eat, rock? I like children and pineapples. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah. AI models can contribute to climate change. We need to start being transparent and disclosing them and creating tools so that people understand AI better. Each time you query an AI model, it comes with a cost to the planet. I helped create Code Carbon, a tool that runs in parallel to AI training code that estimates the amount of energy it consumes and the amount of carbon it emits. It's been really hard for artists and authors to prove that their life... I can't stand the way this woman talks, and this is not the right clip. But let's start here. I'm going to say this. I want you guys to witness brainwashing. Listen to how she sings when she talks. You got to listen carefully. What you're going to notice as she's talking, it's a singing. It's, I created blah, 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 and I did a la la. And I'm going to pull up regular the whole clip in so we can go from the beginning because she talks some wild stuff. But hold on, let me go back to it. I just want to point this out first. Understand AI better. Each better. time you Each time. query an AI model, model, it comes with a cost to the planet. I helped create Code Carbon, a tool that runs in parallel to AI training code that estimates the amount of energy it consumes and the amount of carbon it emits. It's been really hard for artists and authors to prove that their life's work has been used for training AI models without their consent. Common. Uh, facial recognition systems were vastly worse for women of color compared to white men. In order to understand these tools better, I created this tool called the Stable Bias Explorer, which lets you explore the bias of image generation models through the lens of professions. By creating tools to measure AI's impacts, we can start getting an idea of how... No, that's not the right clip. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let's bring the whole thing. File. Video. Where are you, video? Where are you, video? That is not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna have to slice and cut this a little bit. I don't like doing all that editing. I just don't like doing it at all. Let me play this as a no, no, no. I'm not gonna play that as a reminder because all that's gonna do is cause me problems. Is this the whole thing? Whole thing, here we go. Here we go. Talk to us, girl. So I've been an AI researcher for over a decade. And a couple of months ago, I got the weirdest email of my career. A random stranger wrote to me saying that my work in AI is going to end humanity. Stop, pause. Trick, it is going to end humanity. Just in case you ain't figured it out yet. But when I look at her, I can tell she ain't figured that out yet. But she going to refute this. Let's go ahead and let her talk. Now, I get it. AI, it's so hot right now. <laughs> it's she didn't answer it. She refuted it and with a joke. It's in the head. Basically saying that what you believe in. pretty much every day. Sometimes because of really cool things like discovering new molecules for medicine or that dope Pope in the white puffer coat. But other times the headlines have been really dark, like that chatbot telling that guy that he should divorce his wife. You hear her singing like that chatbot telling that guy he should divorce his wife? I told y'all they sing. This is the brainwashing. 
It's a whole generation that were in business that were taught this technique. When they talk, they say. I remember sitting in bar rooms um, where we used to negotiate deals and these younger cats would come in and when they talk, it was like they were singing. We'd be like, dude, stop talking. We have a drink because you're not talking like a human being. You sound like some kind of program robot. And so we give them a drink, calm them down, and then we'll talk business because I'm not trying to listen to you sing at me the whole entire time we're holding a conversation. She, I'm going to let her sing to you some more. Sing, girl. Or that AI meal planner app proposing a crowd-pleasing recipe featuring chlorine gas. Gosh. And in the background, we've heard... And it's not a racial thing, to be clear. I'm not saying it's because she's a white girl that she does this. I'll go find clips of every race, every color, doing this exact same thing. We've heard a lot of talk about doomsday scenarios, existential risk, and the singularity with... Doomsday scenarios. Let me just use the tonality to... To, to skirt past it. We heard a lot of talk about doomsday scenarios, blah, 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 blah. Letters blah. being written and events being organized to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, I'm a researcher who studies AI's impacts on society. And I don't know what's gonna happen in 10 or 20 years, and nobody really does. Oh, what'd she say, y'all? What'd she say? What would this dude over here say? Answer in the book. Um, it or, or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. But this doesn't sound like a very appealing future. <laughs> okay, so well, how does this dude know what AI is going to do? And how does the other people that we had on earlier have an idea what AI is going to do, but she don't know what it's going to do? Something don't add up. It made no damn sense. Everybody else seems to know what the hell is going to happen. But what I do <laughs> know is that there's some pretty nasty things going on right now. So there's some pretty nasty things going on right now. Let's see what she thinks is nasty. compared Because to what AI think. doesn't exist in a vacuum. It is part of society and it has impacts on people and the planet. AI models can contribute to climate change. Just trick him. This trick worry about the climate. They about to remove all these jobs from people and this trick word about the climate. But what, let me ask y'all a question. What happens in a society when people no longer work? What, what, what options do you have as a society when people don't have a job? What governmental options are available to you when there are no jobs? Where do you get your substance from who becomes your daddy when you don't have a job when there's no way for you to create any revenue to feed your family who become your daddy hmm? y'all color folk know what happened when the government became your mom and your daddy you see what it produced when the government became your daddy when they say hey negro man get out the house we're gonna take care of this what happened what happened to hold that whole community now i about to do it to the whole world the whole entire world with a computer. Their training data uses art and books created by artists and authors without their consent. And its deployment can discriminate against entire communities. But we need to start tracking its impacts. We need to start being transparent and disclosing them and creating tools so that people understand AI better. So the number three thing that AI is gonna do, just so you'll know it, it's gonna make the government your daddy. That's a dark, dark secret. You gonna go into socialism and the government gonna be your dad. Matter of fact, you gonna be a part of the New World Order beast system with the beast as your daddy. That's what's about to happen to you. That hopefully future generations of AI model are gonna be more trustworthy, sustainable, maybe less likely to- What the hell does sustainable mean in the terms of a of a, a AI model. What does the sustainable mean in terms of a computer? I mean, really think about it, guys. Where do they get all of the equipment that they need to build the computer? The computers, like for example, take Tesla with the batteries that they use to make the Tesla cars, the lithium batteries. Where do they get all that lithium from? Well, what has to happen for you to get that lithium? And what you're trying to tell me is everything going to go towards computers. So what? what, what Where's the sustainability 
based on just the Tesla model. Where's the sustainability for the earth? On one hand, you won't sit here and tell me you're worried about climate change, but on the other hand, you tell me you got people digging holes in the ground all over the place for this little bit of lithium so you can put it in a damn batter. And by the way, the people ain't getting paid no bread at all. We just talking truth right here, right now. I need y'all to share. I need you to share. I need you to share because when, when you speak the truth, like I can slide because I'm a Negro brother. I can I can slide a little bit of truth in there because it's, it's kind of, it messes up the game. You know, on one side, they're like, oh, we don't want to discriminate against the Negro, but then this Negro is saying too much truth. So I can hide a little bit, but they'll pop my behind too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using the tools that I got. I didn't get it done. I need you to help. I need you to share. Kill us if that's what you're into. Well, let's start with sustainability. Wait, did she say AI can kill us if that's what you're into? Hold on. So that hopefully future generations of AI model are going to be more trustworthy, sustainable, maybe less likely to kill us if that's what you're into. Well, let's start. If that's what I'm into. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like how she slid that in on you? Oh, watch the look on her face. Future generations of AI model are going to be more trustworthy, sustainable, maybe less likely to kill us if that's what you're into. She know what the deal is. She know exactly what the deal is. She know exactly what the deal is. It's going to whack you. Number four, AI probably going to whack everybody. Full Terminator style. Full Terminator. Terminator Genesis. Well, let's start with sustainability because that cloud that AI models live on is actually made out of metal, plastic, and powered by vast amounts of energy. And each time you query an AI model, it comes with a cost planet. Last year, I was part of the big science. I don't want to hear this about her and the AI and the planet. The planet ain't going nowhere except for y'all destroying the damn planet. You can't spray to cover the sun. I'm talking about you don't want the planet to get too warm and then dig at the same time. I'm talking about you want to create all these damn batteries and computers and say you worried about the planet. That, that, that that's just don't make no damn sense. Grow 2,000 times in size over the last five years. And of course, their environmental costs are rising as well. The most recent work I led found that switching out a smaller, more efficient model for a larger language model emits 14 times more carbon for the same task, like telling that knock-knock joke. And as we're putting in these models into cell phones and search engines and smart fridges and speakers, the... Did you just hear what she said they're putting the models at? Smart fridges and speakers and... So AI is going into all your stuff. I remember years ago, they were talking about your dishwashers and was listening to you. And that your TVs had cameras in that was watching. Especially them smart TVs. You got that smart TV in your house right now. Well, you can click the remote and you can watch Netflix and do that. It got a camera and it's looking at you. And I know it sounds like conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theorized, but yeah, it's looking at you. You walk around the house naked, that TV looking at you. Mm-hmm. That's small TV. That's why I ain't got no small TV. I got a regular damn TV that don't connect to the internet. We need nothing small. Only thing in my house need to be smart is me. I don't need no smart dishwasher. I don't need no smart AC. I don't need no smart TV. I'm the only thing in my house that need to be smart. The only thing in your house need to be smart is you. You be smart. Now, I'm gonna stop right here because this ain't the right clips, but I got three of them. Three of the 10, but I'm gonna stop because she talking about the wrong stuff. I'm gonna come back with the guy that's talking about the right stuff. But we just exhausted her because she about to talk about carbon and all the rest of this foolishness. Uh, that's not salacious enough to keep your attention. I need you to hear the salacious things that are being said. So I'm coming right back. Don't go nowhere. I'm coming right back. Told y'all I was coming right back. Nobody believed me. Everybody think I meant like in the next video. I meant like right, right back. So I told you I want you to hear the more salacious stuff. I told you that it was creating a whole new thing, right? And I, I hadn't heard this man say this. This is what being told to me. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother creation. And, but I, I know it, but I need somebody, I need you to understand. We gonna let them talk. I want to tell you what I see coming. I've been lucky enough to be working on AI for almost 15 years now. All right, so let's establish the fact that 
all this has been rolled out, but people have been hammering away on it for 15 years. So we in 2000, let's just make it 2024, take 10 years. So it's been a minute since they've been working on it. I mean, a long, long time since they've been working on it. But let's, let's let him talk, because he's going to build up to this, and he's going to tell you what it is. Back when I started, oh. to describe it as fringe would be an understatement. Researchers would say, no, no, we're, we're only working on machine learning. This dude's name is Mustafa. Because working on AI was a wee boy. seen as oh, way boy. too out there. Boy. In 2010, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I'm sorry, Mustafa. I didn't mean Just the very mention of the phrase AGI, artificial general intelligence, would get you some seriously strange looks. Artificial general intelligence. I want you guys to understand. I'm going to let him define what artificial general intelligence is versus artificial intelligence. Let me shut up. Let, let's let Mustafa finish talking in the jungle. And it's kind of funny that Mustafa looked like he got some jungle behind him on the screen. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Mustafa, my bad. And even a cold shoulder. You're actually building AGI, people would say. Isn't that something out of science fiction? People thought it was 50 years away or 100 years away if it was even possible at all. Talk of AI was, I guess, kind of embarrassing people generally thought we were weird and i guess in some ways we kind of were no your ass still is weird it wasn't long though before ai started beating humans at a whole range of tasks that people previously thought were way out of reach understanding images translating languages transcribing speech playing go and chess and even diagnosing diseases People started waking up to the fact that AI was going to have an enormous impact. And they were rightly asking technologists like me some pretty tough questions. Is it true that AI is going to solve the climate crisis? Will it make personalized education available to everyone? Does it mean we'll all get universal basic income and we won't have to work anymore? Oh, 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 Say, bro. Come on. Somebody give me my flowers. Somebody give me my flowers. I just said this. Now, mind you, we watching this together. But I just said this. Now, here's what he's doing right now. He's framing the conversation. He's giving you frames. Framing the conversation. Frame. Is it true we're going to have this? 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 Delicious brainwashing that he's hitting the audience with. I'm going to slide past all that and get to something else. But it, it, you, these are questions that the average person, no, these are questions that a person would ask him that has some knowledge. So in order to address all that prior to him going to the next thing he has to say, he has to lump them all together, throw them in there, and he's either going to address them and answer them with a yes, or he's just going to slide past them and don't even acknowledge them. But he has to acknowledge the fact that those are questions, but he doesn't have to answer the question. So let's see what type of man this is. Let's see what kind of, what manner of man this is. Should I be afraid? What does it mean for weapons and war? And of course, will China win? Are we in a race? Are we headed for a mass misinformation apocalypse? All good questions. But it was actually a simpler and much more kind of fundamental question that left me puzzled. Hit y'all with the conjuncture uh, or the con uh, with a conjunction of but. Now you know but negates everything before it, right? Language wise, if I say you're a beautiful woman, but that means I'm not calling you beautiful. You understand what I'm saying to you? That means I negate all that. So if I say you're a beautiful woman, but. You know, you kind of look like a Care Bear. I'm not telling you you're beautiful, but wipes out everything in front of that. So he just took everything that was in front of what he said, all those concerns, put them in a big box, and put them together, and said, all right, here go all your concerns. Told y'all, what manner of man is this? So we figured out what manner of man this is together. One that actually gets to the very heart of my work every day. It's all about you. One morning over breakfast, 
My six-year-old nephew, Caspian. Now he's gonna tell y'all a story. The story is the most effective way of communicating to something to somebody without them being able to refute what's said. So now we took everything that you will be concerned about, negated it, threw it away. So now I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm just breaking down to you what's happening. You know, some people understand, some people don't. Was playing with Pi, the AI I created at my last company, Inflection. With a mouthful of scrambled eggs, he looked at me plain in the face and said, but Mustafa, what is an AI anyway? Wait, who is this that called him by his first name? My work every day. One morning over breakfast, my six-year-old nephew Caspian was playing with Pi. All right, let me ask y'all a question. I got nephews, right? You got nephews. I don't have no nephew that called me James. And y'all got a nephew that call y'all by y'all first name? I don't know. The story ain't adding up to me already, but let's keep it moving. The AI I created at my last company, Inflection. With a mouthful of scrambled eggs, he looked at me plain in the face and said, but Mustafa, what is an AI anyway? He's such a sincere and curious and optimistic little guy. He'd been talking to Bai about how cool it would be if one day in the future, he could visit dinosaurs at the zoo. And this is a load of bullshit. How he could make infinite amounts of chocolate at home. And why Pi couldn't yet play I Spy. Well, I said, it's a clever piece of software that's read most of the text on the open internet and it can talk to you about anything you want. Right. So like a person then. I was stumped. Genuine. Why is the visual behind him blurry? What is he about to unend? You notice the visual behind him is blurry? Why? Ask yourself that question, why? I'm really interested in this. He left why. scratching my head. All my boring stock answers came rushing through my mind. No, but AI is just another general purpose technology like printing or steam. It'll be a tool that will augment us and make us smarter and more productive. Nope. And when it gets better over time, it'll be like an all-knowing oracle that will help us solve grand scientific challenges. Is that a sun in the background with clouds? What, what the hell is that? Now, you know he chose that, right? That's up there for a reason. That's there for a reason. You know, all of these responses started to feel, I guess, a little bit defensive and actually better suited to a policy seminar than breakfast with a no-nonsense six-year-old. Why am I hesitating? I thought to myself. Tell that kid the truth. You know, let's be honest. My nephew was asking me a simple question that those of us in AI just don't confront often enough. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody what y'all doing. What is it that we are actually creating? I'm gonna pause. What do you guys think he gonna say it is that they actually create? I know what he gonna say. He gonna explain to y'all that they playing God and they done made a new species of person that's like a God. What the original man, I ain't even gonna go there. Let, let's just. What does it mean to make something totally new, fundamentally different to any invention that we have known before? It is clear that we are at an inflection point in the history of humanity. On our current trajectory, we're headed towards the emergence of something that we are all struggling to describe. I ain't struggling to describe a damn thing. You playing God and you making your own little mini God that you can control. I ain't struggling to describe a damn thing. You just struggling to justify what you're doing to humanity. I ain't struggling with a damn thing. And yet, we cannot control what we don't understand. Can't control it regardless. And so the metaphors, the mental models, the names, these all matter if we're to get the most out of AI whilst limiting its potential downsides. As someone who embraces the possibilities of this technology, but who's also always cared deeply about its ethics, 
We should, I think, be able to easily describe what it is we are building, and that includes the six-year-olds. So it's in that spirit that I offer up today the following. In that spirit. Now, I'm gonna let it keep rolling. Then listen to what people tell y'all, man. Let me just tap it back a little bit. As someone who embraces the possibilities of this technology, but who's also always cared deeply about its ethics, we should, I think, be able to easily describe what it is we are building, and that includes the six-year-olds. So it's in that spirit that I offer up today the following metaphor for helping us to try to grapple with what this moment really is. I think AI should best be understood as something like a new digital species. Hmm? 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 A new what? Uh, I'm gonna let them keep on going. Now don't take this too literally, but I predict that we'll come to see them as digital companions, new partners in the journeys of all our lives. Whether you think we're on a 10, 20 or 30 year path here, this is in my view the most accurate and most fundamentally honest way of describing what's actually coming. All right, so I'm gonna pause this video. Because this is actually quite disturbing. It's very, very disturbing. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's so disturbing to me personally. Now, those of you who don't believe in God, you ain't going to agree with this. And that's fine. You ain't got to agree with it. Because, it, I mean, you're going to do what you do. You're going to find out the truth when you leave your body. For those of us who believe in Jesus, we know that we were sent our own personal assistant who's called our comforter and our friend. And he's supposed to lead and guide us into all truth, not no damn computer system. And so what you're seeing is them creating a digital version of Ruach Elohim that's supposed to lead and guide you and comfort you and be your friend and be in all your business. So that's your advisor, not the spirit of God, but a damn computer. You understand what I'm saying to you? Can you smell what the rock is cooking while he eating them children and them pineapples? You hear what I'm saying? Dangerous. Super dangerous. Because now, you supposed to listen to the computer. He just told you it's a companion. You supposed to be listening to this thing. It's going to tell you what to do. But it's on form of ethics that is programmed with. Not morals, but ethics. So now you abide by its ethics. What it says you should do. And the crazy thing is, this is not targeting my generation or the generation before me. This is targeting a very young generation that's going to come into this and that's what it's going to do. Taking a break. I hate, I really hate diving into these because as it's just revealed, it's just like, bruh, come on, bruh. Let's at least hear what else he got to say. And above all, it enables everybody to prepare for and shape what comes next. Now, I totally get this is a strong claim, and I'm going to explain to everyone as best I can why I'm making it. But first, let me just try to set the context. From the very first microscopic organisms, life on Earth stretches back billions of years. Over that time, life evolved and diversified. Then a few million years ago, something began to shift. After countless cycles of growth and adaptation, one of life's branches began using tools. And that branch grew into us. We went on to produce a... Now it's important that they have this, this worldview because if we go back to our man, Uriel Havar, which I'm tired of listening to Uriel. I really am. But he told you, that you're an animal. But it's important that these guys have this worldview because with this worldview is the only way they can create such a thing. And so he just disclosed to you what his worldview is. And so therefore he has no problem with doing what, what they're doing. That's it. I'll I, I I catch y'all later. It's wild.